Thank you, Deepak. Um, I would like to welcome everybody to Malta. Um, it is both um, astonishing and satisfying to see the first edition of the World Cannabis Forum here in Malta. It is a true testament to how far we've come in less than a year since introducing new regulations. Um, if you had come up to anyone in Malta a year ago and tell them that we will be hosting the World Forum on Medicinal Cannabis, they would have probably thought you are kidding. And yet, here we are. As the Minister for the Economy, I introduced the bill in Parliament for the regulation of the production for medical marijuana just some months ago, last April. And now, just a few months later, the country is hosting some of the best speakers, some of the best researchers, top industry players, and thinkers of this new booming field. And so, I would like to thank you for taking this leap of faith with us, for embracing the change, and also for sharing our potential of this industry, the many new opportunities it presents, and what it can mean for Malta and for the European market. And it's great to have you here. Um, when we were discussing the idea of opening up Malta to move in the medical marijuana industry, we were, of course, wary of how the local public would react. And there was, of course, the expected scaremongering with some media declaring, let me remind you, on front pages, government wants to build narcotic factories. Some parliament debates were heated, and the fear of the unknown, and also, or I might say, its ramifications was discussed intensely. However, the Maltese public and our economic community did not fall in this trap. The topic of marijuana had been a taboo, a taboo subject that no Maltese politician before this government had ever dared to mention, let alone build policy on. But when we introduce new legislation that gives Maltese patients access to medical marijuana, we believe that as an extension to that, the production of medical cannabis in our country should not or should not have been controversial. And I think all of the people in this room share the same view that if there is proven remedial and therapeutic effects from medicinal cannabis that can alleviate pain, it is our duty to make this accessible to the public. It is only right that we make access to these products easier, make it safer and cheaper for our patients. And our country has a long and extensive history, as Mario has said, in the manufacturing of pharmaceuticals. And we are confident that this know-how, this knowledge base, has a solid reputation, which can be translated to the production of medical cannabis. And from inception, we wanted our country to position itself as a center of excellence with accountability, with compliance, which should be our critical and pivotal priorities. And we want to, and we will be one of the first countries to offer a high-grade, genuine quality product for the rest of Europe. 
There are challenges ahead, naturally. We are forecasting and working into unknown and uncharted territory, um, as are all of you, after all. The industry is the first, for the first time emerging from the shadows, once hidden away in, in deep forests. And of course, solutions are needed to grapple with the scaling up, with the industrialization of production to keep up with the new demand. The prohibition of, on, the news, on the use of cannabis has over time hindered um, substantive research and also development, which has resulted, of course, in delays in its development. And the inevitable industry consolidation will continue. So growing number of research, of innovation and development studies pertaining to the application of medical marijuana will increase market growth in the region. The industry has yet to utilize multiple technologies ranging from IoT, the Internet of Things, um, to cloud, to analytics. And we have only scratched the surface of the science of the research in global cannabis industry. The re-imaging of business models, of practices and products will also dominate the sectors for the years to come. And of course, we want Malta to be part in the solutions. Looking at the numbers in every which way you choose to, um, conclusion is they are impressive. In just six months, the European cannabis industry has grown more than in the previous five years. The population of Europe is double that in the US and in Canada, so we have a bigger market. Estimates are that in 10 years, the European medical cannabis market is set to worth more than 55 billion euro. Locally, the biggest mistake we can do is to underestimate the scale and the potential of this market. And we only have to look at how the market is growing in Canada, in the States, and many overlook China. There is predominance, predominance of a Chinese um, patent suggesting that pharmaceutical science are evolving quickly in China, outpacing Western capabilities. And what I can say, what I can tell you is that despite being tiny, um, Malta has always punched above its weight. In five years, we have turned around the course of this country and changed the political narrative of Malta. We performed an economic miracle without resorting to austerity measures. We, on the other hand, cut taxes increased the income of those on the lower rungs through targeted social measures. And of course, our strong economic performance has been lauded over and over again by various international entities, such as the European Commission, the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, and a myriad of credit rating agencies. And we turned things around so that we registered the first surplus since 1981, making great dents in what was considered to be government debt. And we broke the cycle of borrowing, and we transformed that to financial annual deficits, but this time with surpluses. And this year, um, the Maltese economy grew by a real growth in GDP of 5.4%, 5 
which translates into double the EU average. Most forecasts for next year predict that we will once again be the fastest growing economy in the European Union zone at a rate of not less than 5%. So we have carried out serious reforms. There will be more to come. We believe that maintaining a region's economic vibrancy is its true ability to sustain a community of innovators. That is why we promote synergies for innovation between government, the regulators and operators so as to develop new products, new services that respond and react to international market requirements quickly and efficiently. I know that the organizers today have taken the excellent initiative to invite hundreds of local experts, doctors, pharmacists, but also pharmacy and medical students. And here I would like to address those students specifically. We want to carve out our name in this industry and shut mainstreams conceptions on medical marijuana. The sector needs people like you. Cannabis-related careers are here, and now it's up to you how far you'll be going and how far this industry will keep growing in Malta. The best of the best is setting, setting up shop locally, and of course, we are garnering a lot of interest. Many are waiting in the wings um, to see how we pull off um, this, and we plan on just doing that. So may I conclude by saying that I thank you for taking the sleep of fate with us. We know the medical cannabis industry is only just coming of age. And of course, we are happy to play a major role in the industry's future. As a government, we will continue to empower our businesses and to foster growth. And we would rather than ask if, but how and when. As we bury the stigma that is associated with cannabis, I am pretty sure it's going to be a fascinating time to see what's coming next. Thank you, and I hope you make the most of your time here in Malta.